Hey guys, Chris here again. So I'm uh, finalizing the install of the first bracket. I call it the sub plate uh, bracket that reinforces the Z axis from behind. Um, I was all out of uh, roll in M8 T slot nuts. So I went ahead and uh, got some longer uh, flush mount uh, countersink screws that go all the way throughout the back side and I've just got a nut on the back of the subplate. Um, so the holes that I put in there happen to line up perfectly with the, uh, the holes that were already in there because I, I stuck with the original uh, <clears throat> 4040 standard. Um, so yeah, they happen to line up perfectly on both sides. So I just use a through bolt from this side and a nut on the back on the floor. And then I do have on the very top, um, I had two, because the hole up top doesn't line up, but I did have two rolling T-slot nuts for the top part of the Z-axis. So I've got uh, plenty of um, fasteners in there um crank down nice and snug and everything is coming together pretty nice uh, so i got this uh square here that i use you know to hold up against the uh you know, i faced my wasteboard before i started this all so i had something you know flat to the machine to reference against and I've just basically, uh, you know, squared everything up as good as I could, like this. Uh, and surprisingly, it didn't have to adjust it much. It was almost right on. And then you can also go at it like this. Um, and you can check it like that as well. And it's pretty darn straight. Um, so everything is... Like I said, looking good so far, and uh, <clears throat> I'm about to start uh, installing the uh, the other uh, extrusion, and then the the, uh, the bracket that goes on the front that holds the spindle mount, uh, both of them. So that'll be in the next video.